Hello. Okay. So we are going to continue our uh, There we go. So we are going to continue our Outer Worlds journey. Let's get back to it. Let me see who messaged you. No one that messaged you. Alright, let's see. They look much happier than they actually are. Throw that out there. They're a bunch of very miserable folk. Okay, yeah, my mic's on. Happy time. Hello. Hello. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we are. All right, so forward 950 meters is apparently where we're going. Let's see. Come on. Let's see where we're going. Way over there. And I haven't been to any of that area. So I think there's some quests in the middle. So let's see. See where that is on the map. That's over that way. Okay, that's closer, so we might do that one first. One. All right, that one's Scylla. All right, that's way out there. Where would that one be? And that's that way. So that's in the middle of going to the other one. Let's see, Star Cross Troopers. Where is that? That's way out there too. Um, where is the information? Okay, all right. Well, that answers that question. So we are going to do a family matter first. Yeah. Okay. Off we go. It's an adventure. And I got a message. more questions for you. They're, they're real simple. Don't think about it too much. All right. Okay. Have you ever lured out your prey by mimicking a cry of a no, Monarch Prey ain't that smart. You can lure them to you by firing blindly into the air. Is it true that Raptodons can't see you if you stand the wild still? Blue. Yes, next time we run into one, I want to see you practicing. Have you ever fired off two guns at the same time? Once, backflipped while doing it too. A sprat never saw it coming. God. It must be so annoying to her. Okay, here we go. We're gonna have to go around them. I think we're just gonna take the road. Road's easier. Simple. Funny thing is, is I keep looking for all my destiny too. <laughs> it's like I have a great gun. No, I have an okay gun. Can't help myself. Okay. Okay, that answers that question. Okay. Fallbrook Amber Heights Stellar Bay. And I guess I'm going that way. Stellar Bay is that way. That's weird. I don't know what's up there. Oh, apparently 375 XP is all I needed. Hi guys. Yeah. Oh, 
well, that was weird. Uh, everyone all right? There's a flying cane. Uh, come on, it's fine. Sealed. Okay. There's something over here we ought to have. And I didn't get later. So. Oh wow, this place is a wreck. Okay. No, I didn't mean to sleep before. I just wanted to grab the stuff. I'm sure I'll come back to it. So let's go uh, go to where we need to go. Isn't that like supposed to be a road? Ah, right here. Just didn't see it. Hi guys. Go on for field. I guess that's one way to uh get into it. I'll put strong person. Yeah, I'm being very useful in this fight. That'll do. That's the last of it. Very useful. Yay, a baseball card. Just saying. Baseball cards are fun. Alrighty. Keep going around in what feels like a baited trap. Don't do a lot of damage. <laughs> but he does. That'll do. Score, Cabba. Everyone all right? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Well, that's right, Cab. Okay, so let's uh, let's raise our fighting a bit. That'll help. Hopefully. Do I keep 
fun. Oh, something ugly happened over here. Ah, oh, puppet service sword. Hmm. Makes you wonder what's been going on there. Over heights. A bunch of stuff that's been abandoned here. Let's go. What? What's this? Seems like an outlaw den place where they're hiding out while they're trying to lay siege. <laughs> Waiting for the door to open or something? It's very weird. Very strange. Interesting. Alright, there we go. Sorry about that. Okay. Well, hello, and welcome Hi. to the home of the Iconoclasts. I'm Rose. Please take a pamphlet. In it, you'll find everything you need to know about Graham, his philosophist truths, and the Iconoclast way. He wrote it himself, you know? Right. Oh, oh no, I'm so sorry. I keep forgetting. We're out of pamphlets. Gosh, blast it. Gosh, blast it. Who are the iconoclasts? You're offering me a pamphlet you don't have. I don't want a pamphlet anyway. Just tell me who you are. I'm so sorry. It's a habit, I suppose. We used to have plenty, but we ran out of paper and ink. Ever since the corporations left, it's been hard to come by the basics. But you know what we do have? Hope. Freedom. Right? Oh, freedom. This is the only place in Halcyon you'll find it. Right. No corporations, no shackles, no problems. Uh-huh. No problems. What about Raptodons or Marauders? And here I thought everyone works for a corporation. No corporation means no paycheck. How do you survive without money? Oh, those are just hurdles. Oh. We deal with them as they come. Right. You're welcome to stay with us, so long as you can earn your keep. Wait, I thought you had freedom. One big happy family, huh? I'm just looking for work. Do you have a boss or a leader or something? Hey, got it. Before I go, can, I'm looking for a tucker. Have you seen him? The new boy! Yes, he's quite clever. He took to our teachings very quickly. Last I saw him, he was headed into one of the buildings up the hill. Great. Okay, then. Is there anything in the bin? Okay, I didn't think so. Is there 
excited about that. Anything interesting hiding out here? Not really. They're guarding that. This is there. Someone's coming down from up there. There's a lot of people everywhere. Hi. Okay. Let's just start checking out the buildings then. Nope, can't check out that. Can we go see? No. Can we go see? Infamous Amber Heights. The folks in Amber Heights always manage to find a bottle or two of the good stuff. Keen scavengers, I tell you. You meditate today? If not, you should. Right. Great. New age of you obnoxious people. That's fantastic. This is Huxley's Terminal Stay Out. This means you. Dear Diary. <laughs> Graham taught me how to meditate today. You close your eyes and you breathe in real deep and try not to cough. Then you just listen to yourself. You know how sometimes you'll be hiding from a manta queen and you'll, you're trying to be real quiet so you focus real hard on your breathing and you can hear your heartbeat and you think, how can this manta queen not even hear me? And all of a sudden you have to sneeze and it reminds you of that time that you were coming back with a delivery and as you were putting it on Zora's table you sneezed and it slipped and a bunch of things broke. Meditating is like that, only you're supposed to think of these things on purpose. Graham calls it, I don't remember what he calls it, wreck of something he says it's your eternal truth bubbling up to the surface, and the things you remember are what you're supposed to focus on and try to improve. When we meditated, I mostly remembered that sitting on rocks hurts. Maybe I'm supposed to toughen up my tailbone. Zora's really smart, but you know what, sometimes she can be such a bitch. I was supposed to get some info for her from Cascadia, but I couldn't find a way over without going through Marauders, so I gave up and stopped in at Fallbrook to pick up some supplies instead. While I was there, Chastity dropped in to play a few games of Whist. She's so cool. She's always playing games there. When I lose bits, I get really upset. I don't have much, so losing what I have, it hurts, you know? But Chastity can drop a thousand, thousands on a single game and she's fine. Well, sometimes she drinks a bit and slams the table and storms out, but still. Mostly she's cool about it and I admire that. Anyway, when I got back, Zora yelled at me because I was a little late. Something about medicine not getting here fast enough? So I... Graham just said to try not to lose track of time on my next run, and I promised I would. See, that's how you teach someone. Don't gotta yell and make them feel bad. Today Zora gave me permission to buy ammunition from Bronson. I didn't think I want to, but she said I should just in case. But guns are really loud. I'd rather just run away than shoot one. Still, I'm kind of proud. Zora said it was like a promotion for something I found in the wilderness. I think it's a code for a door, but I'm not sure why it's important. I can't even get near the place without getting attacked. I asked her what a promotion is, and she smiled in a really sad way and told me I shouldn't worry about it. This will be my last entry. Sorry, Diary. You've been a very good listener, but our time has come to an end. This terminal was making a horrible beeping noise yesterday, and someone smashed it while I was out, and now I can't save more diaries. Milton can't fix it, and plus he says I should stop coming into his house to write when he's not around. Whoever smashed poor terminal, if you're reading this, suck sulfur. I'll have to come back to repair that. Because, yeah, that'd be awesome. Bridge, sure I can do that real happy. Nope. What do you think you're doing? Damn it. I was just thinking. Just don't let me see you here again. Sadness. You can't see me. Huh? Here they come! So that did not go well. Let's uh, load. <laughs> uh. Okay, so we're just gonna avoid, you know, stealing stuff, apparently. Ha, ah, but you couldn't see me in there. Bite me. 
What kind of idiot keeps a collection of empty shit? Aww. Thanks, Farrakhan. Okay. Oh, I got a machine gun. Alright, what's up here? Tent tail. Hot on meat. Sealed. Interesting. Sealed doors are always interesting. There's something in them. Are they actually alive or are they dead? Ezekiel Manti infested, tried antibioticals, no, no effects, alcohol poisoning, no effects, acid drip, no effects, current status no longer with us. Ronnie, fractured ankle, current status, splinted, reset, recovering. Ivers, multiple bullet wounds, chest, arm, leg, current status no longer bleeding out, but a couple shells still remain, recovery unlikely. Wilson, acid burns, face, hand, arm, current status, ointments, gauze, a lot of booze. Wow. Okay then. Okay. Let's see, is there anything over here? Yeah, there is. Hi guys. I don't think I'm going to be allowed to. Ooh. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, thank you. Hello, on class agitator. Okay. Bunch of people up here. Hi. Right. Ah, there's no door. Welcome to Graham Bryant's personal conglomeration of notes and theories and findings regarding philosophism and how it informs our lives. I've organized into three categories the iconoclasts, the halcyon colony, and the universe. The board's lies. The board vastly overestimates their authority and grasp on power. Without the Earth Directorate's military might to back them up, they would not be able to maintain their life-draining grip on the colony's throat. They spread lies and misinformation to confuse and oppress the masses. Perhaps that's one of the reasons they have not allowed any colony ships since the Hope's disappearance. They've had 70 years to condition their little good workers to follow their directives unquestioningly. Their lies become more and more transparent as the years pass, and will soon be too obvious for even the most deluded colonists to see. The oppression must end. A man from Byzantium told us of an acquaintance who had been arrested for carrying philosophist texts. Not teaching, not evangelizing, just carrying. They oppress any truth that threatens their corrupt structure. Is this what we want? Do we want to live in a society where we can be sent to Tartarus for our beliefs? No. Their workers' minds are poisoned, their will shackled, their dreams hamstrung. This can stand no longer. We must tear this entire regime down. The dangers of a corporate society. I hope to someday publish a greater work in which I can more expansively lay out what is so clear to me, that our society's obsession with a corporate-run life has stifled and crippled humanity's ability to grow. Alas. For now, I can only collect my scattered thoughts into this barely functional machine. 
In my younger and more vulnerable days, I, f I bought into the attraction of a corporate ladder, a measured, quantifiable way with which to judge oneself against one's peers. It provided motivation, meaning. Yet my spirit longed for more than just a paycheck. It yearned to reach out and connect with my fellow man. It sought a connection. It sought kin. It sought a familiar, familial unit. The corporations claim that they are that familial unit, but they treat us like pets. We beg for scraps at the table, and if they are so kind as to drop one, we praise the ground they tread on while they usher us into kennels called homes. We attach ourselves to contractually obligated family un familial units, strangers to whom we have no more connection than the employers seeking to empower themselves by our, unit, our unions. We bear children out of obligation to our executives who demand a constant workforce. We slave away in the vain hope that someday we too will be like those executives, until the day we die and are processed, burned, and filed away as another tick on a human resources paperwork. We have built ourselves into a cold, unthinking, efficient machine, and in doing so have abandoned all the warmth humanity is capable of. I weep for us all. Sanjar and the Betrayal of His Truth I often recall my former friend who once sought to dismantle the corporations, as I still do. When he took ownership of our corporation, I held him in such contempt. I called him a coward, a betrayer. He was becoming the very thing we hated. Now. I'm not so sure. Recently I've come to accept that his heart was more closed than mine. I cannot expect every man to be able to open himself to the eternal truth as I have. Some are just not capable. And so it is a tragic thing, tragic that he is weaker than I'd hoped, that he cannot fight for a cause. I can empathize with tragedy. Should the day come when the metal of our spirits clash against one another, that empathy will shield me from guilt. Like the board, he now stands across our path, arms crossed, stubbornly resistant to the eternal truth. Like the board, he spreads, nay, celebrates, the poison that cripples our society. Like the board, his stubbornness will only blind him to his inevitable fall. Tragic. Access files on the Iconoclast. Personal thoughts regarding Zora. For someone who is so committed to the iconoclast way, I fear that Zora is slipping off the true path. More and more often, I fear her attachment to the materialism of our oppressors sway her decisions more than the search for guiding truth that will save us. She often tells me that our people are hungry. I agree. Their spirits long for fulfillment, a much more powerful power than any pang of an empty gut. No. Teaching Notes of all things to motivate a person, I'm finding freedom has been the most powerful. Many of them still remember being slaves to the corporate structure. Recalling those painful memories lights their fire anew. A man from Fallbrook stopped through on his way to Stellar Bay. After thumbing through our pamphlet, he asked how we can survive without money. I found an appropriate metaphor in gas masks. When clearing a mantis worm nest, we wear masks to ward off poisonous fumes. Even after the nest is cleared, the fumes may remain for some time. Thus, we wear the masks until we are safe to breathe. Until the very last dregs of our poisonous corporation society are gone, the attachment to bits will remain. Though their use is uncomfortable, and though they stifle our spirit just as the masks are ill-fitting and limit our vision, we must persist with them until we can cast them aside. Shifting Priorities as our numbers grow, I find that more and more of our population turns to the written word of my pamphlets. I am happy to continue making them, but I must find a more efficient way to print and distribute this reading material. I wonder if that old printing press might be convinced to run once more. Wouldn't that be something? To return to my duties as an editor in a publication? Only this time of my own control and not stifled by the rules and regulations of style guides and grammar books? Nobody will tell me where to put a comma? I'll put them where they belong, as decreed by the eternal truth. Access Files on the Universe Influence Drift When I realized the truth of philosophism, I immediately wondered how can I be the first to recognize this poisonous spiral that has shaped our society. Then one day I was talking to, of all people, Huxley. She once lamented that she'd like nothing more than a pet canid. I confess to know very little about animal behavior, as I am much more concerned with the animal that is mankind, but I stressed that I didn't think such a thing was possible. 
She let it go, but with some weeks later, Zora reported the strangest thing. Stories of a marauder with a candid follower. I don't know if it had been sighted here or on Terra too, but I immediately thought of Huxley and her reckless, wild imagination. I wondered if she had told other people and if word had spread of the possibility until it wriggled its way into the mind of marauders somewhere. The Suppression of the Truth It is very difficult to face the eternal truth that everything happens for a reason, that life and everything in it is the will of the cosmic consciousness, can be a terrifying one. There is an urge among us all to control the parameters of one's life. This urge is so powerful that it suppresses the eternal truth simply by existing. Mankind has not shed the weight of its own shackles, and so I find that spreading philosophism is unnecessarily difficult. But the universe cannot suppress it forever. Biology changes, creatures adapt and evolve, we overcome our urges for the better of our species. Someday our minds will be born more open to this idea. Until then, I must not abandon hope. And that's it. A lot of stuff. And there's... Yeah, there's nothing in here worth risking it. Move on. Zora Blackwood. Okay. Graham Bryant. Nice day. Huh. You gonna talk? At all? Huh? A stranger comes to our home. If you're looking for a path to walk, you've found one. If you're looking for a teacher, I am one. Welcome to the Iconoclasts. Right. What do you teach? I'm told you're out of pamphlets. That's a shame. This is Amber Heights. I expected more altars or incense or both. Ah, yes. The first step to accepting the truths of philosophism is to open your heart to its wisdom. I've found the written word to be quite effective in helping people do that. But alas, the eternal truth hasn't been generous with the paper and ink. Now, why have you come? I'm just looking for ways to help the people here. Anything need doing? I want to know more about your teachings. Tell me about the iconoclasts. Let's go with two. Awakening is available to all whose minds are ready to accept it. What would you like to know? I hear the word eternal thrown around a lot. What is it? What do you mean by an awakening? Do you believe in a creator? Ah, the eternal. We are all part of the consciousness of the cosmos. Each of us plays a tiny role in the universe's continual journey toward understanding itself. You it's and I, thing, and the rats and the mantis swarms. Divinity is in us all, and the eternal is that divinity. Even OSI, are their members similarly divine? I must be more divine than a beast. But I don't believe in any of this. How can I be divine? Everyone, regardless of ability to believe, is another facet of the universe contemplating its own existence. What do you mean by an awakening? The point of no return. When your mind fully opens to the eternal truth, Every philosophist experiences it along the path to enlightenment. For many, it is the first brush with the cold of death when they realize that all of their lives have boiled down into the single truth of that moment. Mine was witnessing my friend and colleague transform into the very evil we sought to combat. Now he runs MSI just like the overlords before him. So Sanjar betrayed you, you turned to religion, and now here we are. But his workers enjoy much more freedom than those in the board. I brushed with death, but I don't believe any of this. Their leashes may be longer, but their collars are just as tight. Do you believe in a Not creator? Not in the sense of a single entity. Fashioning the universe as a whittler fashions a flute. The universe came into being over time, 
organically, naturally, and without purpose. In that sense, I suppose you could say that, in the interest of finding its purpose, the universe itself created all living things. Sure. Whoa. I think okay. I just felt my brain kick into a higher gear. Is this what you folks call enlightenment? If it were only that easy, my delightfully eager friend, you've taken but one step on our long and arduous, but ultimately fulfilling path toward the eternal truth. Go ahead. Yeah, he's definitely not a romance option. Just saying. He's a moron. Never All mind. Right. I heard about you. You're trying to change the colony, right? Transform the soul and character of Halcyon. Right you are, my boy. Soon every man, woman, and child will experience their own mm. spiritual awakening under my guidance. Mm. The iconoclasts are free folk. We live under our rules, motivated by our own beliefs, all petals on the same flower of enlightenment. Meanwhile, the board strangles the will of its workers. It is the penultimate exercise of a poisoned society where people are enslaved by a corporate ladder. We seek to replace their way of life with ours. Philosophism is the key to unlocking their shackles. And wearing theirs. But it'd be dangerous to let anarchy run rampant. From what I've seen, I have to agree, anarchy would be better. Is this why the board is cordoned off Monarch? Well, the rest of the colony thinks your way is insane. Oh yes. Gunships hover in our skies, ready for the day they decide to come to our doors waving banners of war. <laughs> the perception of visionaries is often tainted by the lies of their oppressors. A sad state of affairs, to be sure. Oh. Never mind. Why have you come? I can ask, who are you? I have some questions for you. I am Graham Bryant. I brought the eternal truth to Monarch, and soon I'll bring it to the rest of the colony. Right. All right. Yeah, no, I don't actually Why have, have any come? questions about that. Anything need doing? A great many things, in fact. We could always use a hand rounding up supplies. Or... Now, here's an idea. There's an old printing press I've been trying to get up and running. Wow. Wouldn't supplies help more? Yes. We will make do as we always have. Spreading the word of our movement is of paramount importance. You're an idiot. Will you aid us in our cause? Whatever. Pay Wonderful. I requisitioned replacement rollers for it some time ago. Huxley should have delivered them yesterday. Speaking of which, where is Huxley? You bought rollers? You haven't even cleared the wraps out yet. What are you doing wasting bits on... Ugh, forget it. Huxley's still recovering. She won't be up for a run for a while yet. It seems we're out a runner. If you intend to help our cause, I'll ask you to meet our MSI supplier in her stead. MSI supplies you? Where is the supplier? Huxley, the runner from the Northern Ruins? I hope they get out of there. So you're her mysterious savior. She sings your praises. That girl and her songs. So eager to learn, so bright-eyed, so... tone-deaf. One of our sympathizers, a woman named Carlotta, periodically buys goods on our behalf from Stellar Bay's store. <sighs> Stellar Bay has caught on, but they remain friendly. Though the goods now come at a considerable markup. Well, yeah. She meets us in the ruins of Bayside Terrace. From our compound, follow the road north. All right, I'll be Wonderful. back. Wonderful. While you're at it, I wonder if Carlotta still has those high-capacity cartridges. Grab a few, will you? There should be some funds left over from the last shipment. We can use them to copy and modify radio serials. Yes, not just magazines, but their precious dramas. Unbelievable. I hope I don't have to wow. tell you this, but if there is extra money, would you mind buying, I don't know, food and medicine? Yeah. Graham, if you need me, I'll be in triage. 
He is a fucking idiot. Wow. Like, seriously. That's right. You made it back. Damn right. Ain't nothing in the wilderness can stop me. Except being locked up. Well, on the way back, I twisted something in my leg, foot area. Where does my foot end and my leg begin? Ankle. Wherever that is, it hurts. So, no runs for me for a little while. Time to kick back and relax. So, my partner is now playing The Outer World, and he is now streaming The Outer World. Is this a competition? <laughs> oh, enjoy, it's tons of fun. I will continue, I had just started, I'm much behind her. Kicking, I assume. So no runs for me for a little while. Time to kick back and relax. Not the kicking, I assume. How'd you hurt your leg? How long will you be out of commission? Huh? Why? Your leg. Oh, haha. Ha. You're, you're funny. So you have to I explain the joke. It's just not funny. Uh, I did a dumb thing. I was trying to get away from a terror raid. Usually, you can just get a ways from their nest and they'll stop following you. But this one was really persistent. Chased me for, I don't know, forever. Scratched me up that good. I barely got away. Wow. Then I tripped over a void damn rock. A rock! Not even a slippery one. Yeah, that happens. Till it stops hurting, I guess. Zora says I'll be fine in a month or so. <laughs> Aww. That's too bad. Let me go inside the place of the fence. Zone lines, which a lot of fans do, they know the but also means. Hi, it's you. Going in and out of places for the advantage of fans. Yeah, I'm not even going to worry about it. I've got enough stuff. Let's not piss anyone off. Job. <laughs> All righty, out we go. Oh, got it. Okay. I'm giving you close to the door. Okay. <laughs> oh, hi. Sadness. Hi, Tucker. All the loot, because loot is money. What is this? Tucker. Move along. You suck, Tucker. Ember Heights routing terminal. Hutsley, stay off this machine. I know your terminal's out of storage, but if you break this one, things are going to go tits up around here. Anyone else, as long as you know what you're doing, go ahead and clear work orders out whenever you can. Give me work orders. What are you reading? Hmm? What is that? It's behind the town of Edgewater. It's the Navy Habits of Terrorists. I somehow missed that. Hmm. And that's hysterical. Cheryl, if you're reading this, I'm done waiting for you to collect my things and you can decide to the delay. The pipes on top of my house are going to burst. They're leaking steam. Someone ought to fix this before they explode or the steam hurts somebody. If you haven't played this game before, folks, uh, there's lots of subtle humor. Alright. Uh, 
it's worth it just for the comedy. Description. The Looks like sprats chewed through the wires on the side of the bar. The They're sparking story. up a storm. Okay. There's a lot of things they need work with. We ain't heard from the Raft House in a while. Sent Milton over. Ain't heard from him either. Someone needs to check it out. Okay. Dear Diary. Ha! Hey Zora, figured out how to add work orders. Dear Diary, eat it. Uh, yeah. I don't have the hack. Sadness! Medical examiners. The door to the medical to the examiner's residence above the med bay is stuck and is completely sealed. Can someone get this thing to open? Engage remote remote force door lever operation. There we go. Well, that helps. I'm just gonna leave everything alone. Ah, sadness. Another piece of Choice creates spacious choice. Uh, Alright. I think the med thing is up here. So I'll put the mouse over to not the sleep That was the med thing, right? No. Alright, I don't see anything. So we're gonna move on. Gunslinger, but I use my sword because it's gonna be the That's the night day up there. Don't see anything out there, so we're gonna head back and So, uh, yep, the night is right here. Mm -hmm. ah. There we go. A bunch of stuff. Nothing I can read. Nothing I can do. Alright, all done here. It's fine. I'm gonna go find a vendor and get rid of some stuff. Oh, it's down at the bottom of the hill. Ah, oh, there's a vendor. Yay! Alright, let's sell some stuff and then we'll worry about buying stuff. Alright, so. Let's see. Esa. Esa. Skills that's fine. Long guns. Let's see. Per points available. Ten per points. I should be using swords. I feel like. Let's do this. We'll add a couple per points for each weapon. Then we can get rid of each one. Okay. Let's boost it all the way. All the way. All the way. All the way. Yeah, we'll still 
Nothing's can go away. One perk. Alright, that's all much better. Alright, so let's see, what's the buy stuff? Yeah, I might have wanted to save that actually, probably. Okay. Is there anything here? No. Oh, it's nice. Oh, no, I'm good. I want to mention the iconoclasts are loyal folk. Treat them right, they'll do the same. Turn on them, they'll open fire without a. Bronson maintains a record of strange special equipment requests beyond the normal firearms, ammunition, and medicine that the iconoclasts burn through at an alarming rate. Most of his list is crossed out, but a few items haven't been fulfilled. Zora. Uh oh. Your browser in. Okay. Let's do that again. We're doing okay? Alright. So. Are we still here? Okay, so it's catching up. Alright. That'll do. This place wasn't half so pretty in the cereals. Sorry, it kind of, uh... The browser window got confused for the stream. Okay. Alright, so they want us to go... <laughs> ...that way. Which is where? Oh, all the way back past. Okay, so we'll do that later. We have other things right now. Let's see. I think. Was it not the right one? Let's see. The map. No. All right. Uh. <laughs> Is it that one? Mm, that's closer. Yeah, I think that might be the one we're doing now. It's gonna go that way. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. All right. Lots of stuff here. Huh. All right. South here. Awesome. Off the road and down this slope. We've got a decent truck ahead of us. Yeah, yeah. Alright, we'll go left. I think that one's close. And we'll just kind of start running. Okay, it's fine. Watch it. Take Oh, hi, you. Well, yeah, it burns. That's oh, that's blasphemy. Alright, we're just gonna go. Whoa, no, no, that was not intended. I do not want to go in the uh, acid lake. <laughs> I'm just gonna go for a little swim. Can't be that bad, right? Lose a quarter of my health. <laughs> like instantly. Alrighty. I'm gonna go this away. Hi, 
guys. Hi, Dakin. Uh, it is well written, and the systems are set. <laughs> oh, you don't want to know. <laughs> I don't want to know. I don't want to know what they're filling the cans with if it's not fish. What of what? He's copycatting him, Dakin. We're only halfway to the mountain, so we might consider stopping it. Cool. It's really pretty. Creepy, pretty, but pretty. Alright, let's go on in. But it is the quest you deserve. Ha! <laughs> Yeah. It's definitely like has a similar look to a Bioshock. Trouble I mean, checking in? Or you might need directions to the amenities? If you're locked out of your cabin, a replacement key costs 50 bits. I see. Brian. Tell me about the amenities. No reservation, no problem. Day trippers are always welcome in our saloon. Straight back and to the right. If you hit the falls, you've gone too far. Check in with Ms. Malin. She'll set you straight. Okay. I am here to anticipate and facilitate your needs, patron. Guess it's true. Fallbrook really is the best kept secret in all of Monarch, excepting the Vorst Factory secret ingredient. We're a leisurely stopover for the more adventurous spacefaring traveler. Understand? Sure. Uh, actually, no. Man, Man, it has been a blue moon since I had to break out the hookumspiel. <clears throat> Allow me to paint a picture in your mind. A parcel <laughs> of pure paradise nestled beneath a waterfall within a mountain. We've got activities of leisure. We've got proclivities for vice. We've got booze and bets and non-communal beds. Sublight owned and run, so you know you're safe while you're breaking the laws. Check in at the saloon to start spending your bits now. Oh, wow. Okay. I see. Very good. Looks like my kind of town. Wow. Take a gander at that mug. I ain't ever seen someone so adept looking my whole life. Watch yourself, Captain. This guy's got eyes like a sprat set on stealing your dinner. A dip looking, huh? This guy taking a snipe at your looks? <laughs> oh, now, come on. All I mean is, well, rather that, uh, you don't seem like the usual pigeons we pluck. No offense, of course, if you are a Byzantium gold one. Say, I'd like to do you a favor. Might I interest you in a surefire ski? Well, I love wink, wink. That. Oh, yes. <laughs> wow. Flattery will get you everywhere. Do go on. Did you there just say oh, wink at me okay. instead of actually winking? This ought to be good. Don't believe I did. No. Wink. Pure and simple, it's it's like this. I run our drug delivery uh, service. Recently, I had the genius idea to cut costs in half by swapping our auto loaders with faster, cheaper sprats. 
Let me guess. We pocket the half you save? That is a genius idea. Lie one. That's a stroke of sheer brilliance. See? I know a fellow genius when I clap eyes on him. Moron. Too right you are. Only problem is my Sprat carriers ain't arrived from their latest run. Because it's a stupid idea. As I was saying, you look more capable than most of the Hoopleheads around these parts. What say you locate him and retrieve the goods for me? Of course. In return, I'll cut you 5% of the profit. Ah. Before I agree to this, I want some questions answered. Yeah, Where should I start looking sense. for your missing Sprat Carriers? Not like I have anything better to do. I'd be happy to help. Oh god, I wish. Hit me. I won't even hit back. Punch him in the eye. <laughs> oh god, that's tempting, yeah, I'm not so gonna lie. Where should I start looking for your missing sprat carriers? What do you do around here? Let's get back to business. Oh, oh, number one is so tempting. Oh my god, it's just so tempting. Yeah. Ow! What the? What was that for? You told me to hit you. <laughs> You're nuttier than Miss Malin. Cripes. Remind me never to cross you. Though, you put that mean right hook to good use getting my drugs, and I'll be more than happy. <laughs> Where should I start looking for your missing Sprat Carriers? I run my Sprat Carriers back and forth through the shipping tunnels near the waterfall. I ought to check there first. Good luck. And uh, don't get any ideas about pilfering the drugs for yourself. Not like I have anything better to do. Is that sarcasm? I'm going to assume it was not. If it's sarcasm, you've got to show it somehow, like, with a wink. My Sprat carriers scurry back and forth through the shipping tunnels. Any trail ought to start there. When you've got the goods, okay. I'll be here. Sure. All right. He's a moron. Like, absolute grade-A idiot. It's also an ass, but, you know. All right. I will. Uh, let me see. Let's ah. come back. Yeah, let's climb. Let's see what's up top. I'm not talking about the plane, too. Oh, ah, look what I found. I have Thank not you. played the PC version of the I think I own it, but I haven't played it. Uh, I think I was supposed to play with Charlie at some point, but we never actually did. Yeah, you know, this isn't that bad. I'm saying. I mean, there's an awful lot of armed thugs hanging around, but overall, it's really not that bad a place. You seen Arthur today? Eh, last time I saw him was this <laughs> done. I can't remember. Dave. So you can't be here. Here, but there's people here too. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Professor Buddy was 
<laughs> I can't believe I'm still stuck in this law forsaken town, but at least I think I may have finally found a spot with promise. Down the tunnel, on the riverbank outside of town, produced one nugget and two teeth. I wonder if I can find a dentist who'd pay for some something for the teeth. Interesting. Okay. Hungry? I'm famished myself. No rubbernecking. Make a buy or move on. Oh wow, what a delight. Okay. So. Hmm. Oops, escape back. And we want to sell that. Might as well sell that. Alright, let's sell some oil. How do I get this verse? Alright, that'll do. Repair. Let's repair everything. Car. Yes. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Alright, let's see. Felix, what have you got? Right. Let's move on. Two headed my way. Heavy machine gun. Ryoka. Light machine gun. Okay, so tell me what you want. What do you want to talk about? At least I can shoot with that. Mm -hmm. I'll do that. Because that's better. Okay, I can do it. I wouldn't do this ever again. <laughs> You've got the deserves. That's fantastic. Give that a try. Director inventory. Light machine gun. Can't do that. Going to put this. Can't do that. And we'll see how it goes. You shopping for pre-owned or new? Do you bloody it, you buy it. Store policy. That's fair. Yeah, and? Do I look like the city planner? I wasn't exactly consulted on the blueprints when Catherine started building out Fallbrook. Uh... But now that you mention it, I reckon she had her reasons to hide us. We got smugglers, outlaws, mavericks, and Byzantium socialites flying in and out of Fallbrook all the time. Why openly spin in the board's eye? That's actually a good point. Fair enough. Take it you're one of them yourself. 
<clears throat> well, if you don't learn nothing else about Fallbrook, rest assured on this much. Your bits are always good with me. Alright, let's see. All right, let's get out of here. Now, I think I need to find Catherine. What am I looking for? Journal. Empty man. No, okay, right now I'm just doing that, but where's Catherine? Mm -hmm. There we are. Curious. She is this way. All right. Okay, here we go. Hi, Catherine. Generally unhappy. Uh huh. You blind, little bird? Or can you not see I'm busy? Uh, Why is it every sissy pig fucker who strolls into my town <laughs> expects me to smile and shout awful friendly? Welcome to Fallbrook. Only nugget of paradise in this entire law forsaken <laughs> land. Like a void damn advert. I, I could listen to her talk for hours. <laughs> Truthfully spoken. I do aim to properly oh, represent my aforementioned <laughs> nugget of paradise. <laughs> wow. No, we're gonna skip that. I'll be sure to remember that little bird. Oh, cool. Wanna I, tell I, me I, what I, you need? I'll be I don't know well, I'm half listening. Uh, Okay. Sanjar said, you know something about a corporation operating in secret on Mummy. Might be I know something uh, about it. Might be yeah. someone hired my crew to blind drop supplies on the Northern Bridge. Might be they sure as shit mm -hmm. weren't pirates. Now that I consider it, I ain't heard from my delivery team in far too long. Mm -hmm. Find them for me, and I'll pay you handsomely. All right. And I'll thank you kindly for it. If it's one that don't mind getting dirty, then I sure do. But how am I to know whether you're reliable, if not fully trustworthy? <laughs> I do admire blunt honesty, so I'm willing to give a business arrangement between us a try. There's a Borst factory on up the way, run by a man who calls himself the King. Clive Lundberg, insufferable prick. That aside, it's a business ripe for the plenty. I want it. Clear as that. I a feeling this is going to involve murder and mayhem. Stars, I hope so. <laughs> Clive Lundberg, the self-proclaimed Borst uh. King of Monarch, is swimming in profit and drowning in his ego. He's making the only meal to be had this side of Monarch, and I'm tired of ponying up for my dinner. I want that forest factory, owner dead or alive. Okay. And you're the soon-to-be handsomely paid fucker who's going to get it for me. All right. Guess you've got it figured out then. Good. Hit him where it hurts. In his gut or his production lines ought to make do. All right. Any tips on how I might get in? Say I wanted to sabotage the factory. Say I just kill Clive. If you got brass knockers, you <laughs> can shoot your way through the front gate. If you don't fancy getting shot to shit, you can try asking Duncan for a disguise. Hmm. Might be another way in, assuming you're courageous enough to trek the sewers. Void if I know. Okay. 
Then I'd say you might care to poison the sisty pigs, doctor a few financial records, or throw a wrench in the canning machinery. Cool. And if I wanted to kill him? Sometimes the simplest solution is the sweetest. I don't give a wit about the method or the means, just the end. Fair. All right, sounds good. It'll be more than good when you're finished. Well, Maybe not for Clive, I'm... but for me and you, I'm sure. Oh, and if you don't fancy going in guns blazing or crawling through a sewer pipe, see Duncan in the dry goods and sundry building. He ought to have an employee ID in that stash of illicit goods he keeps for select clientele. All right. May luck be with you, since I won't be. <laughs> That's actually pretty fair. Stop doing that. The noise means that it takes you to the nearest exit of the building it's closest to line. The direction you say you want to go. Now I have to walk all the way around. Okay. Determined by Mary of Europe, I'm a biased neighbor to us. Lifetime net value of 8,000 pounds. So that's. Oh, what's this? I will cross the fields. Welcome to the offices of the Greater Halcyon Insurance Group, Halcyon's premier provider of life and disaster related insurance. Oh, wow. I'm obligated to inform you that our coverage does not extend to incidents deemed to result from negligence, criminal activity, or dullness of mind. Well, not go that way. Dullness of mind? Some people, but no one in this office, I assure you, might call it stupidity. <laughs> hey, who's she calling stupid? So, what kind of insurance package can I interest you in? All right. We're running a special on dismemberment policies. Buy one, get one half off. Follow, buy, right. Don't mess with what else can you tell me about your insurance policies? Why is your office on Mars? I think we know why is off their office is on Mara. Plenty. As my boss likes to say, there's a policy for every situation and an exclusion for every policy. Of course. We've insured unusually expressive eyebrows, outrageous statements, disastrous marriages. Wow, okay. Who gets their eyebrows insured? Usually character actors or corporate execs with menacing stares. <laughs> Who would get an outrageous statement insured? That policy is almost exclusively for our corporate clientele. That In the sense. unlikely event they make a claim about a product that turns out to be less than accurate, they need some kind of protection against the damage to their sales and exactly. reputation. I see. Disastrous marriages? Those are mostly for top rungers in Byzantium who have a lot of social and financial capital wrapped up in their marriage contracts. Wow. There's one for your beloved eloping with your sibling, your beloved eloping with their sibling, scandalous rumors forcing you apart, the revelation of a secret love child. We wow. try to cover every possible hazard to domestic bliss. Okay. That's all I need to know. One thing's for sure. You won't find better policy protection against sudden lunar implosions anywhere in Halcyon. Wow. We're not on Monarch. For all practical and tax-related purposes, this office is an official enclave of Byzantium. Ah. If you say so. Oh, it's certainly not about what I say. That's all down to our legal team and our CFO. Oh, <sighs> that's all for now. Okay. Oh, no. ah. I'm getting wrecked. Ooh, oh my god, there's more than one. I'm gonna die. How do I feel? I don't remember how to do this. <coughs> <laughs> I don't remember how to do this. Thank you. 
A few recent records. <coughs> Claim. Loss of gentlemanly honor and good name. I entered into a gentleman's wager with several chaps at Billingsley regarding the nature and composition of the Spacer's Choice product, tarmac and cheese. I was quite certain the product did contain actual tarmac, and my companions wagered that it surely did not. Lo and behold, investigation into the matter revealed I had been the victim of a gross misunderstanding. Yet, how was I to know what manner of fair common factory workers eat, and how could Spacer's Choice be so irresponsible as to advertise that its product contains tarmac? when it clearly does not. The damage to my reputation has been most grievous. I find myself unable to return to my previous haunts for fear of the stares and chuckles that will follow. My honor as a gentleman has been called into question, as is the nature of my relationship with livestock. Resolution. Denied. Improper form work. Claimant forgot to say the magic word. <laughs> I really want to know what the magic word is. <laughs> Cartwright Fanny. Loss of fingers. I've been an assistant sow operator with CNP for five years. Most of the blade guards broke last year and management never replaced them. I lost my left ring finger last week as a result. Resolution denied. Negligible damage. Claimant is right handed, so the magnitude of this loss is minimal. Updated claim. Loss of three fingers. The saw was working. Came loose yesterday. Account of CNP skipping routine maintenance checks. The accident took Two fingers from my right hand and another from my left. Resolution. Denied. Self-disqualification. Claimant right. was missing a finger from a previous incident and should, ought have, should not have been operating sharp machinery. Updated claim. Loss of four fingers. The late shift left several crates. And I don't, I can't, I'm trying. And my arm and two fingers, I guess. Denied claim unintelligible. God, they're assholes. Claim loss of one worker. Assistant saw operator lost several digits due to carelessness and negligence. She failed to heed prominently posted warnings about the state of our safety equipment, and her resultant injuries have decreased our factory's productivity and led to multiple stress headaches for management as we've struggled to reshuffle worker schedules around 16J. Resolution approved. What assholes. Return to root. And that seems to be it. Dun, 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 dun. And out we go. Alright, let's see. It's that's back to the beginning, I think. Back to the beginning? Alright. Oh yeah, okay. This is not back to the beginning. Is there anything here? Let's see. That's locked. Always imagine Falvert would be That's not. Stocked with better booze. Something in here. Yeah. I don't know why they have to have people in every building. It makes it very hard to steal from them. I'm just saying. Should I have someone here? I'm saying. Oh, good. No, we don't need anything. Not just a door. Gotta admit, that is really pretty. It's a great place to build. I'm guessing this is... I saw this one episode of Terror on Monarch. How soon Helen went down that waterfall in a barrel? Hmm. 
Ah. Oops, I don't need that right now. Still very cool. Access Sushi Manifest. Outgoing. Auntie Cleo Perishables. Alright. Off we go back to the beginning. Yeah, I guess they definitely ate the people. So, uh. That's where the quest is telling me to go. That sucks. Seems like there were much better ways to, uh, handle this trip. Like a raft among the rocks. Look her help fit in the ride here, so we never want to turn the carry. Okay. <coughs> it does. Oh wait, no. Apparently there's something I still need to do in here. Alright. Let's go look. Authorization task will just require that you have the password. Personal files. Access personal law. Wait a minute. Chester Higgins again, that whole head. Found him fiddling around one of the mechanicals, so I have to go around. I just have to go around. Now I'm feeling bad for what I've done, let me just remind myself that I wasn't before he's always been able to do it myself. She's working on some logic model. I come to it. She gave me a walk away room for the two day teacher. Okay. There's no longer any seven. She doesn't sit right with me. She's been replacing her guards with automatic chemicals. At this rate, I'm going to end up chief of security with no staff. It's a small army of mechanical guards. Guns pointed every which way. When he tells us they're See? safe, we're going to treat us humans like their own. I do hope you gave him my regards. Break down, but the auto mechanical never will. I don't know. Let's right talk about something else? Rough before. Sure. Worst is happening. Yeah, Kevin's gone crazy. Left myself down here. Oh, trying that's to enough for now. Never mind. Gonna make a mad dash. Alrighty. Forward. I, I thought that was where I turned down. that in, but that's okay. Let's get to the other stuff first. Automated message. Greetings, Security Chief S. Tanaka. This is an automated message in this way that I speak to the security facility to convince the protocol. The security lockdown has been initiated. This is not a test. You're behaving during this lockdown. We will be here in the court of the audit. Alright. Alright. 
In which direction? Uh, eventually the map will show up when we can check. At some point. Maybe. Oh, come on. Please, map. Please. Please. Ready, please? Let's go find this Go back now, see if that helps. Or I'm just gonna have to say which way it goes. I'm just gonna go this way and hope I'm right. Yeah, no, I'm actually gonna guess I should have gone the other way. Alright, down we go. I don't see anything here. Is this going inside? No. Oh, Jesus. Alright, so come back here, guys. Let's take a look at what we've got here. Food. Mess with the power. Okay, F, use. And I wanted to talk to him before I rewrite the power. Security chief's corpse. All right, so come on. Come on, guys. Ha! Feel good. Uh, oh, yep, nope. Keep backing up. Where are you? After too many, what? Ah, no. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so F is to eat it. And there we go. Oh, no, he did eat it. 
we'll try it over this and see if it works better. I doubt that any more left down here. But electric is supposed to be generated. Alright, let's see how this goes. Come on, guys. Come on. There's a person in there. I'm not here for them. I'm on fire. <laughs> Just finished your routine maintenance on the kid for some reason. Yeah, okay. Not a fan of those so critters at all. All I know is that there's a lot of things that are very curious and I was afraid that something was pretty much trouble with the kid and the kid from the plant not too long ago. Guessing this was the work of these using the technicians that filed the report, but my feet are just holding Hello there! A word, if I may be so bold. Okay. Well now, here I thought those mantisaurs had peacefully exited the premises. But you're a simpler explanation. Thanks for the assistance. Name's Weston. Every once in a while I set up shop along these here roads. You find yourself in need of resupply? You come on by. Care to purchase a thing or two? Well, sure, show me what you have. Sure, let's grab one of those. Now you're in here somewhere, buddy. I hope you talk to me. Somewhere. Let's All right, so let's see. Uh, sell. Let's see what we can sell. Okay, so I just bought that, so let's keep it. Can we get rid of that? Great, another other thing. Uh, get rid of that. And that. Get rid of that. Okay. All right, you guys. Felix. <laughs> you can have that I'm back. Miyoka. You can have that. I think that'll do better. Nope. There. There we go. That will do better. Okay. One handed melee. Mm -hmm. Let's give you. Oh, that's 233. Gotcha. Yeah, no, no, we're good. Alright. So, let's see. So, what we want is over there. Of course it is. That's, that's how this goes. Alright, so we're gonna go like that. Dun, dun, dun. Just gonna go. 
Take my reputation on this being an ambush. Changely dust. That's a lot of people. <laughs> well, I'm gonna guess that they're right. You worked on them. None of them survived. <laughs> That's what fixers call deductive reasoning. Go, the tunnel. Bye -bye, Huh. Interesting. Stay back. I may be wounded, but I'm still armed. <laughs> How'd you get past my traps anyway? I've got moves. Forget about that. What are you doing in this cave? You call those traps? I've seen nanor fields that were more dangerous. Just remember, I still got bullets, in case you get any funny ideas. <laughs> what are you doing out here anyway? <sighs> Let me take a look at your wounds. That feels a mite better. Wish I had something to give you, but I gnawed through my last sprat worst an hour ago. What's with all the traps? I want to know what happened here. Catherine told me some of her couriers had gone missing out here. Nice to know she cares. 
Yeah. Catherine had us making drops for some big shot client out here. And before you ask, I don't know who they are. Or were. The whole point of making drops in the middle of nowhere was to keep their identity and whereabouts a secret. You think they're dead? Looks like Let's that turned out well. Stuff. Get to the part where you're hiding in a cave. Yeah. I guess the marauders noticed because they were waiting for us. Blew the bridge and took off with the goods. What's with all the traps? A cave like this makes a handy place to store goods or hide out for a spell. And the traps usually keep gawkers out. Where'd the marauders go? Last I saw, they were heading back up the hill. You'll see it on the right when you get out of here. If you've got the sand to go after him, I'm sure Catherine can reward you for your trouble. Me? I'm headed back to Fallbrook just as soon as I've caught my breath. Okay. Let's go see you again. A lot of luck. It's all in the wrist. Okay, lots of stuff to grab. Yay, and none of it's stealing. This is basically all stolen. Basically all that crap. A little bit more up here. Alright. <coughs> Anything else? Doesn't look like it. So much stuff to sell. Let's sell the weapons. Alright, right. heading out. Out we go. Alright. So found him. Let's go find some marauders. Oh darn, but I think they were getting eaten by Manticore. Or whatever they are, and I really don't like those guys. They kinda suck. If they really kinda suck. We really don't have enough hard weapons for that. I need a lot more shit from them. Come on, guys. How's y'all's armor going? He likes armor. Actually, it seems to be doing okay. Yeah, alright. So apparently you guys basically die and you'll be fine. Good to know. Hey, Manticore. I just really want to avoid you guys. Don't like you, don't want to do it. You are not worth the XP. Uh, oh, lucky, lucky. Please, you don't have to do this. Just let us down from here. The humidity is really uncomfortable. What's going on? What happened? Did my game just decide to take a shit? I didn't mean what I said about your outfit. It's very fast. Thank you. 
Somebody's blowing up a piece of monarch. I want in. That's fair. Okay. Is that good? Okay. Let's see what we got here. The better one. Pull back. Apparently, they really did fix the uh, bumping into your companions thing. You can just zone right through them. Yeah, the burning sucks, but it'll go in a minute. Something is going on. I'm scientists, I just didn't see them. Which is weird. Let's see. Okay. Um, up here? Okay, there's this. This terminal is only to be used by UDL personnel with A237 clearance. If you are reading this without A237 clearance, please report to your supervisor for immediate termination and disciplinary action, including but not limited to fines in excess of 100,000 bits, detention in a UDL authorized incarceration center for up to 136 months, mandatory corporate policies and values seminars, revocation of company lounge and or bathroom privileges. Jesus criminy. Research data. Project Lorem Ipsum shall result in a potent, mostly non-lethal crowd control gas for use against rioting, agitated, or excessively numerous crowds. Rich sulfur pockets make Monarch a prime site for testing and experimentation. Early results show promise, but further research is necessary. UDL disavows all knowledge and of, of and responsibility for Lorem Ipsum. All data in this report is considered proprietary knowledge of UDL. Wrong. Yeah, too damn bad. Messages from N. Sanders. Just reporting in to let you know that the lab's all set up. We found a good sulfur pocket to drill into, so the data's coming in, but this place smells awful. The only local we've had to make contact with is a sublight boss in Fallbrook. She doesn't ask questions, but I'm pretty sure she's gouging us, and we're all getting sick of expired tisty bits. Sanders, it's supposed to smell awful, that's the point. And I don't care what sublight is charging as long as it keeps your presence there quiet. If word gets out, we're going to spend the rest of our lives in corporate re-education seminars. I don't want to hear from you again until you have a working formula. Once we've got that, you and the rest of the lab rats can come to Byzantium and live on cacao ribs for all I care. And come up with a better name for the project, something flashy and catchy but that the rest of management will take seriously. Maybe Waterloo or Danger Burn. I'm sick of my boss asking me why I'm forgetting to fill out parts of my reports. <laughs> Alternate project titles. 
If Valdez wants a better title, see how she likes these. She's going to be furious if she ever finds this list, and I'm not covering for you. Make sure these are good and hidden. Thunderdog, Eggs Mayhem, Skunk Parade, Fuck You Valdez, I Want My Race. <laughs> oh my god. That's fair, to be honest. Don't blame him a bit. Okay, let's see what's here. It's a sulfury, smelly bathroom. Yay! Alright. Okay, so we've got all this. And now we go downstairs. I poo. My dog is never interested in her food until the cat wants to eat it. Okay. Oh, yes, please. Research data. After successful trials, management has decided to put Project Nanada Toy on hold. UDL will instead pursue projects with a wider area of effect for more practical large-scale crowd control. Before anyone asks, this does not mean I'm unlocking the gun, it's still off limits. Research log 14. Early results are promising. We've managed to increase the surface tension of the gloop to create a controlled and predictable spread of the substance. Management wants a catchier name, though. Note, I told Powell we're not calling the project Sticky Bits, but he refuses to refer to it as anything else. It doesn't even make sense. The gloop particles are nearly frictionless. Powell and Chastity have started to show interest in the project, which should be good, but their trials seem to involve something covering various hard-to-reach surfaces in gloop and launching expensive equipment at them. I'm going to have to have a talk with them. I don't know where I got the weird saying you shored. On all events, I picked it up in town. So. <gasps> I want that sword. I was just sitting in town. Somewhere I found it. It's... I want. I don't has. Mm, well, mm. Mm. I have one you don't. I have a poisonous sight. What? I have a poisonous sight. Oh, that sounds cool. I did not. <laughs> <laughs> After successful trials, management has decided to put Project Not a Toy on hold. Oh no, we already did that. Someone succubus. Traitor. What? Oh, she's. <gasps> Traitor. Yeah. Well, what can I say? My one viewer is succubus, and she's watching my stream like this. <gasps> Traitor! Uh, yeah, I loot everything. And how do you have chat on your thing? Because <sighs> I use plugins, but you can get something very similar. Go to your picture <laughs> dashboard. Here? Yeah. Okay. Go to the producer dashboard. Creator, Creator dashboard. dashboard. Okay. So click the little thingy that says try out the beta up top for the blue bar. Okay. Okay. But I want it on here. Well, it's not the same. I don't know what to tell you other than you have to install Streamlabs OBS. Plugins. Okay. This is a similar layout in their web browser. Oh, but I love the fact it's dark, let me tell you. That's awesome. All right. Similar 
Anyway, whatever you're looking forward to here. Oh, but I love forward. the fact it's dark, let me uh, tell you. Promo, That's awesome. Adelaide, I need some answers. Alright. Anyway, whatever you're looking forward to here. Oh, but I love the fact it's dark, let me tell you. Uh, promo, That's <laughs> all right that's fine okay we're back someone filled my underwear drawer with gloop i have theories streaming much because work has been one second chastity used the gloop gun in our office yeah, paintball game yeah, yesterday been, uh, she said it was a mistake hard getting but this is the third time she's made the same mistake and she managed to cover the door panel uh, with yeah, the stuff damn thing has been going haywire ever since do you know how hard it is to clean gloop chastity doesn't because every time i pull out the latex and solvent she remembers she's got actual work to do from now on, I'm locking the damn gum up. That was her stream. Oh, did you just? Aww. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, but yeah, I've been working a lot, so I had to curb the streaming because I wasn't getting home early enough. Aww. But that should be changing now that things are back under normal situation. I want to unhack. I want to unlock uh, the gloop gun. Okay. <laughs> oh, hold on. Okay. To confirm you are an authorized universal defense logistics security specialist, please answer the following oh, questions. Question one. You are attending a company meeting at HHC headquarters in Byzantium and vile dissidents attack the building. What is your priority? Protect the chairman, because obviously getting to safety or evacuating the employees is the wrong answer for these corporate assholes. Hi, kiddo. <laughs> How are you doing, sweetie? Corporate assholes. <laughs> Hi, kiddo. Question two. You are producing one of our many UDL personal security mega outlets and enjoying our fine selection of employee compliance equipment. When you are approached by a stranger, he makes an offhanded comment that could be construed as an indirect insult to Chairman Rockwell. What do you do? Answer. Berate him relentlessly to defend the chairman's honor. Answer, smile and walk away. Answer, engage him further to assess his intent. Oh no, it's obviously going to be one because that's the only one that makes absolutely no sense. Yeah, exactly. <sighs> Mandatory security check. You and your spouse have a healthy, loving relationship, but one day you discover that they have been reading unsanctioned stories to your children. What do you do? Answer, destroy the stories and forbid your children from mentioning them again. Answer, arrest your spouse and admit your children to a re-education program. Answer, turn the stories in to the authorities and claim responsibility. Literally none of these. Use of prototype crowd suppression weapon GL009 has been authorized. Reminder, indoor use of this weapon will result in cleaning fees being deducted from your paycheck. Have a pleasant day. Oh. Alright, so I now have a gloop gun. Yay. Alright. And let's see what's going on here. Oh no, that's going outside. I don't want to go outside. Ah, I want to go over here. Starting your only with your yes. <laughs> the barred door. Sure, which is outside. Really? 
We are competing over Twitch viewership. Is that what you said? What? We are competing. Yes, we are. But we're at different points in the story too, so. I'm cooler because I'm further along. All right, so apparently there is no one to rescue, even though they were howling for what seemed to be help when we got here. This kind of makes me sad. So what's this way? I'm betting I can't get in. What is this? Unsealed door. Door status unsealed. Okay. Interesting. Huh. Okay. This is weird. How come your scythe looks more... Oh, it's because I'm not using the scythe. I found it and I threw it in the chest because it really wasn't that good. <laughs> Doesn't mean I'm not gonna throw it in his face that I have one. <laughs> he was slashing around with his sword like he's cooler than I am. The fact that it's true doesn't matter. Really, Felix? Alright, fine. And done. Okay. Whoa! Keep freezing, it's driving me nuts. Anyone? Oh, you're a bad guy. Ha! Ah, dead. <laughs> I need to change what everyone's wearing because they just blend in too much with the bad guys. I need to change what everyone's wearing because they just blend in. Alright, I'm going to rob all the bad guys now. So. Aww, I'm sorry I disappointed you. Hugs? It's on the ship. <laughs> I can't even show it to you. <laughs> because getting back there is a pain in the ass. Hugs? It's on the ship. I can't even show it to you. Because getting back there is a pain in the ass. Let's see. What is what I'm supposed to be doing right now? Alright. Okay, that's the proof for Sanjar, that's good. Ah, uh, let's see. Where is the computer? Oh, that's back at there. That's fine. That's Earth. Let's see where that is. Oh, that's back there. Got it. Right? Oh, it's back up here. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Back there. Got it. That's not fast travel there. Back up here. Wow, you see. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm. Really? Wow, you see. <laughs> really? I'm sorry. I'm a terrible person. Oh. So. Really? Let's see. What have we got here? Is anything cool yeah. here? Okay, so it looks just like the Inferno scythe, only it is green. So it looks like this. Everything cool. Only okay. it's green. Just like the inferno size, only it's okay. Wait, where'd you go? Come back here. So it looks uh, like this. Hello? Um I don't much like the Can I not use it? Is it Oh, it's the wrong level. Got it. Let's do that one. That doesn't make sense though. Because I use that all the time. Oh. Interesting. That's fine. Hmm. Let's see. I think one of the other guys can. Go back. Thank you. Felix, can you use it? Oh, no, he's using something else anyway. I don't know. I'm sorry. Hmm. I suck. Hugs. I tried. I don't know. I suck. Wow. Talk to some more, though. That's just mean. I mean, fair and valid in a mean, mean way. That mean. 
I mean, fair and valid in a mean, mean way. This, this is real. That's fine. <sighs> I get it. I'm just not as cool as Max's with his glowy, glowy, sticky thing. I will somehow find a way to go on. Somehow find a Why are you telling me all this? Somehow I will survive. Alright, let's see. There's something out here I need to... Hello? Have you decided to lock me in? Did I somehow break my character? There we go. Okay. <sighs> I did not promise an awesome scythe and didn't show it off. I didn't promise at all. I said I had one. <laughs> I didn't say I was carrying it. Don't be mean. <sighs> it's making me feel bad. That's all it is. Where the hell is this thing? It's in here somewhere, I guess. At any rate. So. More than that. So it's a fun game. You should try it. <laughs> Just say, lots of fun. All right. So apparently there is so it's a fun game. <laughs> like a tunnel or something here. There has got to be a tunnel here. Because. All right, let's see. So, no one's seen Arthur today. Let's see. Journal. No one's seen Arthur today. Take Max to search for Reginald along the riverbed. Oh, take Max. Right, so I have to trade. How do I trade? How do I get different... Huh, let me get rid of people. Alright, so. Let's see. Oh, right. You Oh, you haven't done that yet? I thought you'd already done that. And I'm sorry, you're asking the fibro girl with no brain whatsoever to remind you to do anything? I think we had this conversation. And I'm sorry, you're asking the fibro girl with no brain whatsoever? It's ringing a bell. I think we had this conversation. Let's see. 20. Let's see, that's a flamethrower. Yes, it is. So we don't need it. And we don't need it. 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 Sentry saber. Hmm. I wonder if I can make that anything. One thirty seven. Got it. Okay. What was the surprise? Make that. Oh, okay, what about... oh, that'll do. You seen Arthur today? New York bench. Alright, I don't know where to go to trade out my people. Alright. There's always that to go. 
Well, when I'm done messing with it, you can always use my Epic account or my Steam account. Actually, you could probably download it and play it when I'm not online. This thing. Where can I go? Alright, let's see if I can get a room. Maybe that will help me switch out my companions. Never had to do it outside of my ship, so that's the other part. Whoa, what's going on with that? That's not good. How's Clyde? I do hope you gave him my regards. Sure. I take it you don't have a reservation. No matter. I keep a suite of VIP rooms for visitors of your, let's call it, a certain means. I mean, don't you have a whole bunch of stuff to do in like the next couple of weeks? But for you, I'll make it a one-time fee. I do remember you saying something about that. You'll make me a fine investment. Marvelous. Do take care of the place. Main service won't clean after a murder. Okay. I'll presume you mean Arthur, the one you sent scurrying back that like is. a sprat with his tail cut off? Yeah, that's Reckon gonna be hard. Reckon he's alive? I'd be happier if the marauders who botched my drop were dead. Okay. Alright, so I'm guessing... Do I get rooms up here? Okay, so where is the... Okay, let's see something. Um, eventually the map will pop up. So, can you do any of it ahead of time? Or are you just screwed, kiddo? Yeah, it's too early. I wanted to give them to this, but all the other abilities seem to be so cool. Can you do any of it ahead of time? Yes. Thanks for showing off your glowing sword, even if that mom won't show her awesome glowing sword. <gasps> well, hey, you can say. Um, you. Uh, well. Yeah, I'll probably do guns and stealth, but I haven't found anything particularly cool yet. I don't like either of you right now. You. You're both mean. Well. What's up? Both mean. Mm. I don't like mean. either of you right now. Both mean. Oh, come on, map. How long does it take your map? I don't know. I'm giving up on the map. The map is useless. Did you just repeatedly do that to rub yep. it in? Yep. I am his favorite person, clearly. Come on in. Come on in. Okay, fine, don't come in. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. 
All right, let's see if I can do something with this. Modify. All right, let's see if I can do something with this. I did know you were a brat. Yes, you're right. I still love you too. But you are definitely a brat. I did know you were yeah, a brat. Yeah, yeah. Okay. you're right. Let's say so, so much. You are definitely a brat. Uh, hmm. want this to go first. So, so much. No. Don't want to time dialogue. Along with the whole role playing aspect of the game, the thing that pisses me Yeah, I do like that it's reactive to your actual experiences. It makes it more personal. Of course, I'm sure some people will chase specific ones down and they'll okay. just go read up on how you get them. Ah, see? There. Another plasma. What does better. tinkering do? Just found one out in the world. Just like that. He's rubbing it in. He is rubbing it in. Uh huh. He is a pain in the ass. He's rubbing it in. He is rubbing it in. Huh. That's cool. So you can very slowly raise up that stuff. That's neat. Let's see. That's cool. So you can very slowly raise up. Problem oh, solved. This gun is amazing. Very cool. All right, let's get rid of this. Wrong thing. Oh, now you're just coming up, you rotten map. It's like I found what I was looking for. Oh, now you're just coming up, you rotten map. Did I turn the rest in the little piles of fire? I did stupid ass box. <laughs> you are encumbered. That was bound to happen. Let's drop some. Let's drop this. You are encumbered. That was bound to happen. I'm carrying too much weight. That's what that cuts down the time. Let's drop litter. Litter. Yeah, okay, get rid of that. That's medium. Text can. Alright, that's fine. Use the work punch. Okay. okay. Alright, let's see. Uh, so I think the companion just adds to your very capacity. Okay. So let's see. Yeah, So let's see. If I sleep for eight hours, is it going to let me trade my... No. There's got to be a way to trade out companions. Huh. 
All right, I'm going to check on mine real fast. Let's see. Uh, right. Let's find out. This is not working out according to plan. Is it the only time you can change companions? Time to get some help on. Okay, each time you exit your ship, I know that. Ah, okay. So I have to go back to the ship. Got it, okay, that's fine. That's fine. So I'm going back to the ship. Yep. All right. Region. Well, that's going to go badly. Could you please, 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 please open the stupid map? Hi, Zoe. I don't know why you dislike me so much. That's fine. I'm gonna have the ship come over here then. Forgot I could do that. <laughs> there we go. Yes. Thank you. Alright. In we go. And I'll go see if I can find the Skype. The Skype. Do, 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 do. She's just an idiot. And I'll go see if I can find the Skype. Just saying. Let's pull it off. That was that girl. That's not what I wanted to do. Wanted to arm transfer. Okay. Weapons. Weapons. Oh no, apparently I did not save the scythe. I broke it down. I am an even bigger asshole than I thought I was. I don't even have it anymore. Oh. Okay, that's fine. Hugs and loves? Lots of hugs and loves? Smooches? Smooches, smoochy? Sorry, kiddo. I'm a bad person. Alright, Max. You're gonna come hang out with me. Yes, you caught me ruminating again. Guilty as charged. What's occupying your thoughts? Apparently you have to come with me. Alright, Max. Yep. That's not it. I just have to bring you with me, so... Okay. Just gonna go downstairs and... I will leave... Look, it's fine. He's kind of an idiot anyway. Okay. Here we go. So... Alright, doofus. You get to come. Nope, I need you. I don't need you. Continue. What is here? Alright. Let's make sure he's all set. Seventy nine. Yeah, he's got to that one. Okay. Much better weapon. Attack the shotgun. Probably need something better for him, but for now it'll work. Armor nine. More energy cells. That's fine. That's probably need something better for him, but for now it'll work. Let's get him out of that. Yeah, get him into something that's a little less stupid. Spacers. Oh. 
Hi, you. All right, let's go. And now we run. Yeah, it's gonna do that. That's fine. I'm gonna. So I didn't do Victor Max. Victor Max and stuff. Let's see. That'll do. And off we go. Dun, 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 dun. <gasps> mm -hmm. okay. All right, let's see if it's outside or inside. <laughs> the puppy, it's very, very fun. In a position that makes it look like she's dead. Alright, now, so it is insisting it needs to be in here. So, where do I take you, Max? Where in the world do we go? It's that way. So I guess we'll head back up and around and see if there's a way through the tunnel. Go this way. Yeah, okay. That seemed about right. What do you want? Huh? Oh, hey, Vicar Max. What are you doing on Monarch? I thought scientists ain't welcome here. Haven't you heard? Everyone's welcome here. It's a fucking worker's paradise. But you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? <laughs> Never worked a day in your miserable life. Oh, wow. You're He's just a parasite, nice. living off my goodwill. He's really well, guess mad. what? My goodwill's exhausted, along with my temper. Uh-oh. Oh, <laughs> What's going on here? This guy doesn't look like much of a scholar, Max. Care to explain? Hey, what are you doing? Let's all calm down here. I'm not sure what's happening here, but I'm always up for some senseless violence. Please, proceed. Hmm. Let's see. Uh. Yeah. This is the guy who told me about the book while we were in prison. I lied about finding a scholar. But I don't care about any of that anymore. I just want to inflict massive amounts of pain on this guy. I wasn't wrong when I said I thought he was in prison and not a pastor there. He's probably both, but yeah. Maybe he didn't know the book was in French? Why do you lie to me? You're gonna give up everything you've ever believed in just for revenge? That sounds like a good idea. Proceed. Oh, he knew, didn't you? Didn't you? Okay, okay, I admit it. I was tired of your high and mighty speechifying all the time. It was just a joke, I swear. I, I didn't mean nothing by it. See, Captain? I've dealt with this swine before. I know how he thinks. Now, where were we? Oh, that's right. I was about to beat you. Severely. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! I know who can translate the book for you. It's too late for that. I threw away my life chasing fairy tales. Will punishing you fix any of that? Of course not. 
But by law, it will make me feel a whole lot better. <laughs> Oh, Max, stop. It's not too late. Maybe the answer you've been looking for is in that book. I agree. He's just trying to trick you again, and senseless violence is the best medicine. Seriously, where's the no? Stop. Don't hurt him option, because I really feel like that should be here. <laughs> uh, I think. Okay, okay. Talk, Reggie. It was stolen from some sort of expert on philosophism. Weird hermit lady on Scylla. My father used to deliver supplies to the mining outpost there. There. That's sorted then. Weird hermit. Sounds kind of flimsy to me. I don't think so. A crazed hermit on Scylla? He's playing us for <sighs> fools. It's true. My father collected some extra bits on the side by diverting some of the supplies to the gal. The way he told it, he thought the book looked valuable, so he took it. Couldn't find any buyers when it turned out oh to my not God, only be midnight. French, but banned as well. <laughs> yeah, after the scene. What do you say, Vicar? You can go now. Fine. We've got more important things to do anyway. Uh. Yeah, well. Oh, Vicar, you're a moron. That's okay. Alright, guys, it is bedtime. I'm gonna save and go to sleep. Thank you for joining me. I will bug you on Facebook for a few minutes, kiddo. Alright, guys, Hugs. it is bedtime. I'm gonna save and right, go to sleep. Alright, let's see. Thank you for joining me. I will. Facebook for a few minutes, kiddo.